All right, let's talk about how to organize your lessons. So you're going to want to go to your library or your dashboard, and you can see I have this Nearpod PD that I'm working on right now, obviously, because I'm recording this. Um, and I also have my little H2O uh, water potential lesson that I'm going to class so how you would organize these you can create folders and there's this folder button right here so if i want to um, just call one professional development just create that folder and you can see if i go back to my lessons you can see the pd folders right there so i can just drag this pd that i'm doing right now into that pd folder if i want to drag this ap bio water potential lesson into my AP bio folder, you can. Um, if you only teach one section, it probably doesn't matter to you, uh, but I teach three different sections, so AP bio, bio, and earth science, so I kind of have to keep things organized, or this would just be a jumbled mess. And then you can just go into each little folder um, with all the lessons that you have for each class, and just makes life a lot easier to be able to, to find them and, and be able to sort them out. So that's how you would do that. 